I was involved in Bitcoin since 2013. Really? Really? Bitcoin people were like, Ivan, you should be more harsh. It's all about trust and being smart. Hey guys, this is Catherine Rose here in Berlin in an on-blog show. I am here with Ivan on Tech, a famous YouTube blogger, software developer, and young entrepreneur. Hi Ivan, nice to have you here. Amazing to be okay. here. Thank you very much. <laughs> We are big fans of your show. Me personally, I watch it every single day. So how many subscribers do you have right now? Currently, I think we are around 170,000 okay. subscribers. Good, and how, how many people usually watch your videos? So, I mean, when we had this amazing bull market, we had anywhere from 30,000 to 100,000 to 200,000. Uh, currently, what you see is that people who are really professional, who are really in this for long term, sure. they're still here, although we have a bear market. So currently, it's 20, 30,000 approximately for, for videos. Uh, but, uh, I mean, this is highly, highly correlated with the markets. Yeah, I know, I know. We, we, we've noticed this with, with the articles at Cointelegraph as well. Of course. Uh, and what is your most popular video ever? I think my most popular video is whether it's too late to invest in Bitcoin. Welcome to yet another episode of Good Morning Crypto. Only here, only Ivan on take. Oh, really? And where, where did you make it? Uh, so ago? that was last summer. Last summer. Last summer. And how many views so far? I think it's half a million, around half a million. Oh my God. So people are still interested in that, right? And that, that was the first question I Googled when I was new. Is it too late right. to invest? Because you see this huge price in the increase, you see the bull run. And of course, you're interested. Is it too late? Okay. And uh, therefore, uh, I thought, you know what? I will give my opinions as well. So what's your opinion right now? Is it too late to invest in Bitcoin? I mean, it's all about the long term. Short term, there are so many unknown variables. You have uh, the scams. You have different news that can, can come out and say that, yeah. you know what? China is banning this. Uh, Russia is doing this, That's US. Do so, <laughs> so short term, I think it's impossible to predict. Uh, it's all about the long term. I mean, Bitcoin is useful. It's useful to many people. It's helping people all around the globe. Sure. Uh, increasing financial inclusion that now wherever you are, you can actually send and receive funds. You can get funding for a company. From any point in the world, right? So for me, yeah. it's all about the long term. And the long term, I'm extremely bullish on Bitcoin. And how did you come up with the idea to start a YouTube blog in the first place? So I was involved in Bitcoin since 2013. Really? really? And uh, how, did you, how did you hear about it in uh, 2013? Yeah, it was in high school. Oh my God! <laughs> so I, I had a friend in high school. Uh, he was very involved in Bitcoin and he started talking and I had to check it out. Okay. And so I come from uh, a very technical background. I started programming when I was nine. And for me, when I heard about Bitcoin, I thought, how can this ever work? How can you have this currency that is decentralized, okay. no central point? And uh, I started studying and then you had so much developments happening and Ethereum came along and right. the YouTube really started last April. So last April. a bit over a year ago. Oh and uh, the reason is because everyone asked me. I worked at Ericsson, a, a software developer and a telecom provider in Sweden. You may remem you remember Sony Ericsson phones. Sure. <laughs> and I realized that even my very technical uh, peers at the company still didn't know anything about cryptocurrencies. Oh. So I started teaching that on YouTube. Why you have so many? What is the technology? How can you program on cryptocurrencies? And how can That's you program right. smart contracts and so on and so forth? So you decide to educate the audience, yes. right? So yes. this is your target audience, right? People who don't know. People who don't know, but of course, the YouTube channel has evolved a lot okay. in, during the year. So now it is about technology, how things work. It's about programming. It's about also the big movements in the industry. You have regulations. You have, for example, Nasdaq, New York Stock Exchange moving into crypto. For yeah. example, you have Nasdaq powering a cryptocurrency exchange. Why are yeah. they doing that? There is a very interesting question that um, I discuss a lot. You have New York Stock Exchange also interested. You have Binance making more money than yes. Deutsche Bank, for example. Yes, yes. So the report. Every, yes. Everything started with the technical interest, but then you realize the big picture. And there's just so much to discuss and talk about. And that is why it is so exciting as well. OK. What is so specific or peculiar about the crypto community, the audience itself? Like, does, do they respond in any particular way? Does it have any difference with, between any financial uh, community? It is very different, I would say. And uh, the community is changing all the time. The community we had a year ago is completely different now. Really? And in 2013, what happened is that I started to, uh, to go to meetups. And there you had very ideologically driven people yeah. and a lot of uh, tech people. Nowadays, when you go to events, for example, Block Show, you have all kinds of people. You have uh, people from uh, real estate, from insurance, from uh, financial institutions, uh, also speculators. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, regarding the speculation, I think the industry 
has seen a lot more new people joining due to the bull run yeah. uh, during the winter yeah. and yeah. and autumn. In and uh, now a lot of them have disappeared because we've now seen this bear market and yeah. bear crashes, but some of them are still here and some of them are interested. So I would say the, the community is always changing. Sometimes it feels that the community is a bit immature and we have all of these yeah. conflicts and fights within crypto. So I, for example, I interviewed Roger Ver on my channel a few days ago. Really? And Roger okay. Ver is of course all about Bitcoin Cash and then right you had, now, yeah. <laughs> and then you had this fight in the comments between uh, Bitcoin and Bitcoin yeah. Cash and um, for me staying neutral, it was quite interesting to see that you get love and you get hate yeah. from both communities. Yeah. Bitcoin people were like, Ivan, you should be more harsh. And Bitcoin <laughs> Cash people were like, Ivan, why didn't you uh, raise you Bitcoin Cash people. more? Okay. But so for me, I'm all about being neutral. I'm personally, I'm exploring this. Uh, for me, for example, in interviewing Roger Ver, interviewing Dan Larimer, interviewing IOTA uh, founder David, it's all about learning. I'm exploring mm -hmm. myself. And I found it very interesting to interview Roger and everyone else that I've interviewed on my channel. And uh, that is why I want, I want to make clear that, yes, I know a lot, but you need to learn. You, every day needs to learn. Otherwise, right. you'll be behind very quickly. Exactly. My, my next question is, well, you speak your own opinion, right? Yeah. So yes. you educate people, but, but you express your own opinion. Of course, I have opinions. Do you feel like sometimes you might be influencing somebody else's decision? Yes, of course. But that is something to realize. Whenever you talk to someone, just yeah. <laughs> basic human interaction, you yes. inherently influence people yeah. and you inherently um, shape their worldview. So for me, it's about telling my opinions, but also make it very clear that watch other people, read Cointelegraph, read the <laughs> Toshi Times, read whatever, and make your own view of the world and make decisions based on that. You've started your own media company, yes. right? Not yes. long ago. Yes. How is it going? It's going very well. We've uh, started a bit over a month ago okay. and uh, we've seen a lot of traction and a lot of demand for our content. Wow. And uh, I mean, currently I think we are at about what, 120 viewers per month and it's going great. And we're expanding in now in South America. Next up is India. So I think when it comes to media, there is a lot to do. And Cointelegraph is of course doing a great job. You Thank are you. very well known name. And when I first started in cryptocurrencies, a lot was through Cointelegraph Aww. and I learned a lot Thank from you. you. But uh, you <laughs> Also realize that a lot has to be done in other markets. For example, Latin America. So many people will benefit from blockchain there, but there's yeah. just not enough content, not enough education, right. and therefore uh, for us it's important to bring the whole space together. Because it's primarily in English, so you will be doing it in different languages? So cur currently it's in English yeah. and uh, next up is uh, Spanish. Oh, no, fair enough. <laughs> so your, your aim is to educate people as well, but through media, through written content in this, in this yes, case, right? Yes, yes, yes. And sometimes it is the case that uh, I do YouTube every day, I stream every day, but uh, you cannot tell everything. So oh, a lot is, the format is that I tell the most interesting things, but if you want to read more, here's our full article. Okay, okay, this this sounds so cool. You've mentioned that you, you film every day. How do you do that every day? I mean, it takes a lot of job. Do you have yeah, the whole yeah, team yeah. working for you? Uh, actually, many people think it's a whole team, but, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's just it looks myself. Like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so th thank you very much. But uh, uh, the whole idea is that have very, very good pipeline, so it's easy to prepare the show and for me it's all about actually preparing the content everything around the screens the camera I have a camera like this standing and uh, I turn it on and I turn live stream and then I focus I'm only focusing on the content so I don't need to care about production everything is just there and for example I have in my in the studio all the curtains are closed it's dark 24 7 because <laughs> the lighting conditions yeah. should be the same yeah. you shouldn't be you know spending time adjusting the lights and yeah. doing all of it I just come in there turn on and focus only, only on the content. Okay, I mean, I, I am subscribed to all of your social media presence and, and thank you for doing that. Um, so you use social media platforms to reach out to people, right? Yes. Because yeah. you consider it's the most efficient way? Absolutely, yeah. it's global, 24 seven, you reach anyone. And yeah. uh, I mean, you should be doing social media in the space, okay. absolutely. So one more question is, what is your advice to people who are actually thinking about starting a YouTube channel, whether in crypto or finance or anything else, get okay, top tips, advice you can give I would us. say uh, do it every day. Uh, improve every day. Uh, think about how can this can be, ca how can it be better? Because something to realize as well is that you can have great content if you do not think about the title. Now this might seem like very normal advice. Think about the title, the thumbnail, but it is really a skill. And you see new people coming onto YouTube writing. I mean, descriptive title, but not uh, attention-grabbing title. You know, like a and, catchy title. Yeah, and I, it comes this. with time. Everyone is bad in the beginning. So <laughs> a good title, a good thumbnail, and uh, just 
keep that in mind. If you are great, but you don't have this attention grabbing side to it, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, no one will listen. I wish it could be the case that I can record a video and just write what I just said in the yeah. title <laughs> and people but would you watch. Can, but but you, you, need, you need to think about, okay, how can I make this attention grabbing yeah. so people actually enter and then they see, wow, this is so much more than just uh, this yes. thing that I saw in the title. But mm -hmm. of course, you should, it's all about trust. It's all about not taking this too far and, uh, uh, and being smart on that front. And the last question is, there are still a lot of people who don't know anything about crypto. They've heard about it, but they don't know anything. So what's your advice for a person who would like to know something, but they don't? So what should they do? So this is something we focus a lot on. Right. And uh, we have, for example, our academy, academy.ivantay.com, teaches everything from scratch. Then we also have a coding academy, coding.ivantay.com, right. where we actually teach programming from scratch and then programming on Ethereum, uh, NEM, right. and EOS. Oh my God. So this, this is very important to us. But of course, you, my YouTube channel, also check out other YouTube channels, there are a lot. And be active, be active, learn as much as possible, explore YouTube, explore Cointelegraph, explore <laughs> Toshi Times, just be as active as possible. And you realize that it, t it takes time, don't be too harsh on yourself. You will not understand anything in the beginning, but then you read, you watch something. Uh, I would say buy, buy something. Don't invest a lot, buy something that you actually are invested in this and you, f and you feel that you know now I actually own it. It's not just a magical coin. Mm -hmm. I have it in my phone and it, it makes it more real. I think you definitely need to interact with it on a practical level yeah. to understand it. And so, so for example, for example, uh, my grandmother, she's from Belarus and uh, she, when she heard that I do Bitcoin videos on YouTube, she came to me and said, uh, Ivan, I heard that Bitcoin is like MMM. So MMM okay. is this yeah. Russian pyramid scheme uh, in the <laughs> 90s. And uh, I, I explained it to her, no, it's just decentralized money and this is how it works. And she understood it. Did she change her mind? Uh, yes, okay. uh, she definitely changed, changed her mind. Did she invest? And uh, <laughs> she doesn't speculate. She just knows how it works because she has tried it physically, okay. practically how to do it. And this is, you hear a lot that Bitcoin is a scam, Bitcoin right. is this, Bitcoin is that, but, but, it's, but it's all about yeah. you know test it out try it out okay thank you so much ivan it was a pleasure thanks for coming and thanks for being a part of the show perfect thank you for having me watch coin telegraph like subscribe and hodl guys coin telegraph like subscribe and hodl